Good evening, everyone. This video is all about the guidelines and instructions for the uh, superintendents, central superintendents, and deputy superintendents, and assistant superintendents, city coordinators, deputy city coordinators, and also for the observers. This circular also includes and uh, about the instructions for the students. What are the materials or things need to be carried? For the exam and even about the exam timings all the details are here so i'll explain uh, uh, each and every detail for all the students so please watch the video till the end okay so these are the instructions for all the observers okay and even for the superintendents now here as you can see here that permitted items what are the things that you need to carry for the exam before that, every student must know that there will be a physical checking before entering the examination center for both boys and girls. Let me tell you about what are the materials which are allowed to carry. First one is admit card. So don't forget to carry your admit card and then your school identity card for regular students. If the, if the students are private, okay, private students, they need to carry the admit card and also any government photo identity proof. Next, stationary items. First thing you should remember that the pouch, okay, the, uh, the pouch which you carry girls, uh, it should be a transparent one. Transparent pouch, geometry box, geometry or pencil box, everything, you all the materials you should carry in a transparent pouch only. Next, blue or Royal blue ink or ball pen or gel pen is allowed to write the exam. Okay. Blue or royal blue ink or ball pen or gel pen. Next scale, transparent one, scale also. Writing pad that also should be transparent. Eraser, analog watch is allowed, but not the digital watch or smart watches. Okay. Next, transparent water bottle and hand sanitizer, 50 ml. If the students are those who are like you know who are from metro cities they may carry their metro card or bus pass these are the materials which is which are allowed and then what are the materials that are not allowed that is not permitted for the exam first one is stationary item like textbooks printed or written bits of papers calculators okay these are not allowed and if any students like you know uh, learning disability students they are allowed to uh, use the calculator and that too according to the circular c basic circular number okay uh, 2020 dated 21 2020 and then pen drivers calculators log tables uh, okay electronic pen or scanner these are not allowed okay log table shall be provided by the centers if you, you required in mathematics okay logarithm uh, table and then and mobile phones not allowed bluetooth earphones microphones pager health band cameras are not allowed and then wallets goggles okay other items like wallets goggles handbags watches etc these are not allowed any eatable item open or packed except for diabetic students only so except okay for them, for diabetic students, it is allowed. Uh, okay, the, that too with a special permission, but not for all the students. And no, don't like you know. These are the very clear instructions. You should not do any anywhere. No chance of copying. Okay, so don't carry anything before entering into the examination hall. You need to check all your pockets. Um, then you enter into the hall. Fine. And then uh, again, if any student like you know uh, caught with uh, while uh, during the exam time any copies or anything so there are many punishment rules rules also clearly mentioned in this circular okay that uh, so that also i tell you now dress code is very important dress code for regular students school uniform and for private students light clothes these, these are about a dress code and then uh, these are all instructions for the invigilators okay 
and how many students need to be uh, like you know uh, arranged in the hall so only 24 students okay so in every room or every hall the maximum number of students will be only 24 okay and then these are all about uh, details for the central uh, coordinators i'll just explain you what are the instructions for the students okay and this one also so you will be uh, receiving 32 pages answer books okay and then uh, 22 papers answer books for subjects in which the maximum marks in theory are less than or equal to 50 and 48 papers answer books with graph paper for mathematics okay and for the students of uh, grade 12, they they require even drawing uh, objects also. So drawing sheet also will be provided. And eight papers supplementary answer books for all the subjects. Okay, so if you are taking extra supplementary answer book, that you need to mention in the in the first page of the uh, first page. Okay, of your booklet. Okay, that I have already explained in another video. You may watch it. Okay, then after that. So this, this is very important uh, instruction for all the students. No student is allowed in the examination center after 10 a.m. Okay. So you may be allowed before 10 a.m. After 10 a.m. No student is allowed into the examination hall. That you please remember it. Okay. Only blue, black or royal blue ink or ball pen or gel pen should be used. Okay, no evaporating ink pen should be used. This is another instructions given for the students. Okay, and then how much time you will be allotted? Okay, for these students, that also I'll tell you. Okay. So all these instructions are uh, for the uh, invigilators, okay, and super nets. So I'm not going to tell you all those details. I'll explain only those details which are related to the students. And see here, no student shall be permitted to enter the examination center after 10 a.m. Okay, so you make sure that every student should present if uh, by 9 a.m. that that would be better by 9 a.m. in your respective centers okay and uh, uh, the examine the doors of the examination room or hall should be open 45 minutes before the specified time for the commencement of exam every day that is 9 45 a.m. students uh, should be advised uh, in their seats 30 minutes before the scheduled commencement of examination by 10 a.m. So what they are saying that they, you will be allowed inside the center 9.45 a.m. and 10 a.m. Okay. And uh, by 10 a.m. you should be in your allotted places. Okay. And no student is, should be allowed to leave the examination center before the examination is over. This is also another instruction. Important instruction. And next. And these are the dates. All these instructions for superintendents and coding intercity coordinators. Okay, so another instruction, very important one. So examination hall should be opened 45 minutes before the exam starts. That is 9.45 a.m. Okay, examination hall. And the answer booklets should be distributed to the students between 10 to 10.15. So no students, no student is allowed, okay, after 10. 
so this is a very important instruction and every student must remind remember it okay and the question paper should be distributed to the students so 10 15 see 10 15 the book the question paper will be given and you will be getting 15 minutes of time to read the question paper from 10 15 to 10 30 the students would read the question paper okay and plan proper strategies so what are the strategies so you you may tick with your with the pencil okay with the pencil what are the questions that you are perfect and and uh, my suggestion for all the students is better uh, you choose a section a complete section which you know all the answers you may you may write even uh, even in a random way also but my suggestion is instead of writing first question and after that the 30th question and then after that 20th question so that is not uh, advised so choose a section which you are uh, thorough in it okay first you start with those answers those section um, then that would be like you know there will be a order of writing your exam and that also gives a good impression uh, for the for the person who is going to correct your papers and maintain a neat and legible handwriting okay and then very important see 10 15 to 10 30 you will be getting time to read the question paper and at 10 30 a.m the bell shall be rung okay so the bell will be uh, uh, like you know uh, given a call so that you may start the exam then these instructions are for coordinators and superintendents and then <clears throat> the next uh, instruction is see this is a table uh, what are your timings? So entry inside the examination center by the students. So you are allowed into the center from 9 to 10 a.m. Okay. So start of entry in examination rooms. Okay. You may be allowed into the center, but not into your examination room. So you, you will be allowed to enter into your examination room from 9.45 to 10 a.m. in between. Okay. And uh, sealed question paper will be opened in okay open at 10 a.m and last entry in the examination center is 10 a.m after 10 no nobody will be no student will be allowed into the examination hall okay and then checking of admit card so your admit card checking will be happen between 10 a.m to uh, 10 15 a.m and also uh, even see here students have occupied correct seat only uh, you have you need to like you know ensure that you have written roll number all the instructions also in the first page, all the instructions will be given by your uh, invigilators, okay, and uh, from 10 a.m. to 10.15. So, this is the time to fill your, uh, to fill the front page, the first page of the uh, booklet. And then, uh, opening of uh, packs of question paper. So, question paper uh, will be opened at 10, 10, and then 10.15, you will be uh, receiving your question papers. And from 10.15 to 10.30, 15 minutes of time is given to read the question paper so okay and then exam starts exactly at 10 30 a.m okay so 10 30 a.m your exam starts and also another instruction closing of examination room doors 10 minutes before the examination is over okay and exams concludes as per the allotted uh, time and extra time will be given for the uh for the needy students okay and then okay all these instructions will be displayed even outside of the center also so again i'll tell you carry all the transparent pouches transparent pouches transparent writing pad and then transparent water bottle okay And the next uh, instruction only blue or black, uh, royal blue or ballpoint or gel pen should be used right for writing the examination. Okay. Okay. And, and then uh, regarding your checking or student checking, I told you already, admit card is mandatory along with your school identity card. Okay, you, you you must carry every day. And then stationary items like textual material, these are not uh, allowed. And even see here, better 
avoid uh, carrying rings bracelets okay uh, chain necklace these are not allowed better you leave these uh, all gold gold ornaments uh, all these other you know uh, materials uh, at home itself Okay, then after that so these are the main instructions for every student so uh, this is very important another instruction see uh, there are few students who have all who have opted hindi a and hindi b so you must um, check uh, the question paper when you receive from the invigilator you must check whether you, whether you have received uh, hindi a say or hindi b question paper and during a, a mathematics time so when you write mathematics exam uh, we know that few students uh, um, have opted might have opted like you know a standard exam and mathematics basic that day, that time also you need to check whether you have received a uh, standard question paper or basic question paper and all the details which exam that you are going to write that details will be given in your admit card okay you may check uh, in your admit card and also in your uh, question paper as well okay all these details for the superintendents and then the last one is about uh, time i will tell you All these instructions for superintendents. So, okay, this is a very important uh, one. And then bell ringing schedule. Okay, so last entry, I as I told you already, 10 a.m. So exactly at 10 a.m. Long bell, the bell. You will hear a long bell in your center. And then uh, distribution of answer books also will be given to you at 10 a.m. So 10 to 10.15, 10, uh, examiner will check your admit cards, they will verify your ID cards as well. And then from 10 to 10.15, 10, you will be filling all the details of uh, uh, which is given in your um, admit card in your front page of the booklet. Okay. And after that, question paper will be given at 10.15. So at exactly 10.15, bell will be the single bell will be given short bell okay then after that examination so 10 15 to 10 30 so 10 15 you will be getting the question paper from 10 15 to 10 30 total 15 minutes time you have to write the uh like you know sorry to read the question paper and 10 to 10 15 15 minutes to fill the uh details all, all your details in the front page of the uh booklet okay so half an hour of time you have okay then after so 10 30 your exam starts so again at 10 30 long bell and after one hour for after 10 30 again at 11 30 a short bell single bell uh, will be uh, given in your exam center then after one and a half hour okay two o'clock again you will be hearing a single bell short bell then closing the door 10 minutes before the examination is over so again another alert will be given single short bell then once are the final bell examination conclude long bell okay so this is these are all about bell ringing schedule okay and all these details about center superintendents okay so these are the details uh, all about uh, your exam okay and uh, these are also the um, the timing which i have already explained to you okay so inside the entry inside the center 9 to 10 so after 10 nobody will be allowed to the examination center okay so these are all about the instruction so uh, make sure that you will be following all the instructions carefully and whatever uh, the details i have told you and the details which is 
given in the circular you try to like you must you must follow all the uh, all the instructions you must carry those materials only so all the best students once again and um, and and once again okay see you again thank you